All right. Okay, I'm now reassembling the camshaft of this hydraulic pump uh, with this uh, pre-assembled uh, repair kit. The repair kit, as you can see, it's in this plastic bag, is already assembled and I will not split this thing because inside there are piston rings and I do not have the, the right uh, piston ring compressor so this must be in one piece uh, hopefully I uh, I could do this but I'm very certain of it that I could remove these blocks here put it onto the onto the um, camshaft and then put the whole um, whole camshaft with the with the blocks with the cam blocks into the pump assembly. If that is done, I could put it back into the uh, pump cover. Yes, and uh, I have also to concern this this lever here. This should also be between the between those those blocks those cam blocks. And I think it should go without tearing this this uh, piston chamber assembly. So um, I got now the camshaft inside the pump assembly. It went like I said. Both blocks are in. I did not remove the pump assembly. It stayed inside. The piston stayed inside the chambers. And I had to turn this the shaft a little bit, and in about two minutes the shaft was inside. First of all, I assembled the 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 rear block. The rear block has a lip. You have to uh, concern about this if you uh, pre reassemble this pump. The front block does not not have. You will see it on the old parts here. Here is the lip, and there is nothing on both sides. And this is this is uh, this this lip uh, is for this for this lever you saw before. And um, yeah, now I have to replace those O-rings here and here and here, and then I will put the bolts inside and yo put the front cover on it. Put the, the lever back on this on this gizmo here, and that's it for the moment. Okay, it's now half past one in the night. I almost worked four hours on this on this nice pump. Um, I got some troubles with the repair got uh, with the repair kit. I put this pump now almost five times together and disassemble it five times. Now because why? Well, if the kit was properly would 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 have been properly ma manufactured, it would be finished within an hour with this repair. But mm, I guess we are the the old ones. Okay, these are the old parts, these two, um, and they are here inside, and they have to be in, in width, in this width, smaller than, than the valve chamber, and the repair kit, the blocks of the repair kit were in width bigger than the valve chamber, which results in a seized up pump. The shaft was not able to I was not able to turn the shaft when the nuts were tight. Cool, no? Now I measured it out. There were almost um, 
0 0.8 millimeters in total of these two, two, blo two blocks 0 0.8 millimeters in total too much of material on these blocks that means I filed now almost two or three hours with sandpaper I got my sandpaper 0 0.8 millimeters of these blocks yes real quality repair kit thanks for the work okay um, in the last video I told you something wrong about the, the lip of this of this cam block um, I told you this one is the rear block and this one is the, uh, is the front block here on this side is here's the front side and um, I told you some bullshit here has to to be the, the lip the cam block with the lip yeah and on the other side the block with no lip otherwise the pump gets stuck when you try to to uh, tighten the bolts you are also not able to turn the shaft okay after I have reassembled five times this pump now the bolts are very tight I also put some Loctite onto the threads and as you can see now everything is free everything turns pretty easy I also lubricated with engine oil the pistons and the cams and the bearings yeah and yeah put it all together and then it worked okay um, that's for the moment tomorrow or even today I will disassemble also the uh, independent power take of clutch because because of the needle bearing here in front there are remaining ne needles of this bearing in the independent power take of clutch and so nothing no wrong uh, nothing should be inside this clutch which causes a new damage so this clutch also has to be removed and inspected if no old remaining parts stayed inside okay that's for today I hope you enjoyed, my, enjoyed this video and I will keep you updated so please comment rate and subscribe thanks for watching goodbye